Okay, so we're not talking. So I did my problem on video game addiction because it's a very worldwide problem and it can cause a lot of bad health effects. So first I'm going to get some common misconceptions about video games out the way. A lot of people think that video games are bad, but that's not true because many um, hospitals use them to cure like bad things like concussions and other things. And a lot of also people also think video games cause violence, but that's not true. That's like saying that like guns cause violence, but they don't. It's the people using the guns that cause violence. And a lot of people also think that video games can cause damage to vision, but uh, Harvard did a study on it and they concluded that that was not true. And some causes of video game addiction are video game designers design them to be addictive so that more people buy them and play them. And a lot of people might play to escape problems that they have. And some people might only feel accepted online, or they might just enjoy the challenge and trying to beat a high score in a video game. And some of the effects are video games can cause migraines slash headaches, and fatigue, poor personal hygiene, and isolation. The history is video games started getting popular in the late 1980s. And the first video, or the first documented case of video game addiction was in 1983, and it was at an arcade. Uh, the first video game was created in 1958 by William Higginbotham. And online, online games started getting popular in the late 2000s. So video games were popular before that, but online games were not, because they didn't exist. And seriousness, so a lot of people in Japan, and China, and yeah, mostly Japan and China, have collapsed, and some of them have died. And many more people have had to go to the hospital because they spend days playing video games without stopping or getting up. And in most places around the world, the problem can be found. You can find the problem in China, Japan, the United States, Canada, Mexico, pretty much every developed country. And there's Two, there's two main current solutions, and both neither of those are working. A lot of parents try to limit the playing time, but that's, that, that does not work because it just makes them want to play more, and they'll try to like sneakily play it or something, and it doesn't, doesn't work. And a lot of people also just take away video games or stop themselves from playing, and that's, that's like, you can't do that. You have to gradually work it down. Like, if you're, if you're addicted to something, you can't just suddenly stop. It doesn't work. So my solution is I made a website, which can be found here. And I have the home page and this and all the other tabs for everything that I have. So I can help you right here. <laughs> Do you want to go through it so you have? Incentive to kind of limit video games almost. 
it would be to make sure that the students are paying attention in school and have good grades so then they can play video games? Yeah. That, that usually, the best, usually the best solution is just to make sure it doesn't start in the first place. Elena? Fatigue, that's like being tired or not being able to work or falling asleep.